Hello guys, how you doing? You alright, maybe? You alright, Funky Man? Alright, here we are in Legends Arceus, which ominously doesn't have any music playing in the background. So I'm gonna go over here and kill this Shinx. Because it's blue and I thought it was shiny for a second. You are mythological, how are you? So there we now is music playing. I lived. Why does everything seem to live in this game? I feel like a normal Pokemon. I feel like Cyndaquil build one shot level 10, build one shot level 2 shanks. Am I wrong? She got the shiny pony tar. You have to catch the legends, Paragon 2 and Z and Spirit. Yeah, that's pretty good, you're quite close. Oh, two styles of UK living, no in between. Wait, what? Right, hang on. Uh, I'm not I'm still not used to the controls right there. Right, so Cyndaquil, what do we need to do for you? How do I see Cyndaquil's objectives? There we go. So I do actually need to do style stuff with Cyndaquil. So I should probably start using styles as much as I can. Let's say where it was. Hmm. I feel like I feel like Funky Man's up to something. I do the stamina in this game. Run faster. Okay. Man, it sure would be cool if I had some sort of mythical deer to ride on. I feel like Funky Man's up to something. Yeah, Funky Man is always up to something. Uh, let's go rest. Just a little while. Cool. Okay, so we can actually start properly now. I need to go 400 meters in that direction. I hope it's not miles. But is this an aircon? Play solo leveling. So, oh, is that an anime? It's an anime, isn't it? Check investigations, crew. Oh no! See, I, I knew he was up to something. Oh, about the Lumion Legacy update. Oop, hey, we'll, we'll have to check that out. Right, see, so is there anything cool on this side of the river? If the video games have taught me anything, is that crossing a river means a completely change in biome and ecosystem. Yeah, I can definitely kill this. Oh nine. Uh -oh. Um, Ember. Oh wait, I can't. I don't unlock styles, guys. I can't even one shot it. Run away! What a coward! More trees. Okay, I'm going to hang of this now. Cherry berries, more starlies. 
Your side quest, dude. Is that Sunflora? Is that Sunflora? No, it's just a pepper plant. Geodude. Um, no, it looks angry. Um, I'm just gonna chuck Pokeballs at it. Okay. Okay, that hurt. That didn't work. Um, oh wait, no, I can't catch it. I'm not fighting you. Yeah, I don't let my Cyndaquil die to a Geodude. See, that was me thinking I could just chuck Pokeballs to things endlessly. Need five more in field land, field lands. I feel like this alpha is going to absolutely destroy me because I'm underleveled. Like, I can't even fight the wild Pokemon, so I don't know what I'm doing up against a... Uh, up against an alpha. Oh, so even your professor tried to join us. Phew, thank goodness. Uh, I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose it's your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. Is this Deer Track Heights? This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of the ancient, blessed by the almighty Sinnoh. Jelly whoop. <laughs> That's not it. It's only a troublemaker. He needs to disrupt the peace with it, its racket. Okay, that is an angry, angry cricketoon. This is what you're here for, Suko. To drive that interloper from this place. And show your Pokemon ready for battle. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder Alpha Pokemon are feared across the land. They're oversized this one. Exactly. Uh, they're not only big though. They're strong and all moves that others of his kind do not. Uh, they're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless. I believe you're stronger still than this Alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Suko. Size is a potent weapon. We weapon? <laughs> weapon. In of itself. No doubt this alpha is powerful and a hardy foe. You must face it, no sure Pokemon has strong moves at their disposal. Okay, so alphas are around. Can I fight you? That's weird. Oh wait, it's like an actual proper battle. Okay, hang on. That's why during battle to access action orders. Why is it only telling me this now? Burn. That's actually quite good. I'm assuming that lowers its attack stat. If not, it just puts it on a timer. Right, Shinx. Uh... That did good damage. Barely anything there with the absorb.
Wait, how did how did this burn? Okay, that, that's that's pretty cheap. There we go. Move mastered. Okay. Who do you think has the best Riz in the Skidugoverse? Uh, I don't think any of you really. See some best in Alpha like that is truly reminds me of legendary hero of old. I must make sure the Pokemon take and character facing up such a fall. Weird. What in the world? It's the great weird deer. Looks upon you with kindness, Kluko. I mean, he kind of looks like he's about to kill me. I'd said, great way he has taken a liking, to, a liking to you. That's fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanse of Hisui while bearing humor on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to all of us. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. Pokemon letting someone ride it? Why, that's just like a ride Pokemon of Alola. That hasn't happened yet. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, it's weird. I wasn't expecting to see references to other games in this. Professor Lamerton, Skluko. Captain Silene sent me. She said that once Skluko's carried out his request, uh, we'd. We'd better, sorry, we'd be able to set up base camp. How about that? I know that it was a joint decision by Adamant and the commander, but still, it's truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The great weight he has taken to liking to Skluko as well. This is a good sign. You are my, you have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear how you aided us. Come show your appreciation a proper reward as soon as I can. If you want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop feeding them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyways, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction cards arrived. Here we have it, new base camp upon Dietrich Heights. Let's call it the Highs Camp. From now on, uh, when you set up, set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp and start your exercise directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help in our service. Nice work, everyone. We'll say we head back to Wallflower. Oh, okay, it's just automatically updating my progress. I apparently haven't done anything. Wait, wait, is the bot not working? Why isn't the bot working? Okay, I turned it off and turned it back on again, so it might work now. Benny old chum, usual potato morshi, please. 
and make it for free today as well. You all heard the grave news. The Frenzy's Cleavor from the rumours ends up mauling some of the, our galaxy folks who went up to investigate this morning. It'll cause just a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this Cleavor that was reportedly stuck in a powerful lightning. Struck by powerful lightning, yes? I'd hear that it's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, further investigation is in order. The Survey Corps will, of course, uh, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is never a when researching unfamiliar Pokemon. I'm sure Struko here can handle things just fine. It's certain. I've heard the Cleavor is so mighty even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now now, you've found the strengths of the Pokemon and key items and information that we in the Survey Corps on duty are bound to research. It's perilous work about calls of a clear head and fighting fit physique. I do believe a good night's sleep in order after this fine meal. Next day. Good morning, Skrugo. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use your sumo practice. I'm going to have to find a way to get more XP, because I feel like I'm going to be really underleveled. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realised you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham? There you go again, assisting your false image to the Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation, the ruler of space. Ha! You and all the space there is, and, and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? You're really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make, uh, make of Hsui's space? Better than someone, it's a miracle to show up on time. The mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worry you'd get lost in your pointless vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Man, get lost. The almighty Sinnoh's great grift to the Pearl Clan. The world's very basis. Uh, the Pearl Clan's our world's very... You wait. Okay, I read that already. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. A waste of time. Off to the Commando Komodo's office. I believe it was you who started this. You feel tension when those two show up. You met them, have you? The woman uh, with the reverence of space is our reader, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who's going on about time is Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan. Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. Uh, but the boss, I mean, the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation after you report to him. Let's go speak to this dude. So is every side quest in this game a gift Pokemon side quest? Or is the other ones asking you to do other things? So at the moment I'm ignoring every single side quest, but I don't know where I should be. There is other ones. Okay, I'll have to have a look at them then. What do you tend to do about this Cleavor, Commander Komodo? He may be a descendant of the warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't just sit back and let him rage on. You did get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasted is loss. 
Well, tell me, uh, what would you have us do? Cleefar is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's my point. My clan, my clan, my clan can't intervene directly with the Lord of the Pearl Clan's uh, concerned. If my people wanted to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, like we used to be. But even the folks at the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something there. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down this one on its own? On Honoured Nobles? I don't believe I said that, though it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaford to such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know myself, and this is the first as far as my clan knows too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is Skluko, our newest member of the Survey Corps. Ha, I hear from Ma you earned Weirdia's favour. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I am Admin, leader of the Diamond Clan. I want to, if you want to be formal. Well, that's a mouthful, just call me Admin. I came from beyond space-time Rift. Uh, could it be the very space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Arida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Uh, could you really pass through the, the rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You send a stranger who supposedly fell from a rift to study Cleavor? This newcomer with no experience? Says leader of almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing this huge vastness of our fear. Well then, there you have it. If you knew and, you, and it doesn't matter, let's give the kid a chance. I solved, Commander. Let, let's try this your way. This will be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folks really are. With all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls what have you. The whole practice bothers me. Mighty Sinnoh made us soon fast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. Which means we're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We don't use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together and allow us to show what we can do. This is your mission now, Skruko. I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of the situation. Uh, I accept. Remember that you're a stranger who appeared one day uh, from the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Uh, work yourself to the very bone. Okay. Getting robbed? You can get robbed in this game? Or settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from the Pokemon who is blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon I've yet enca encountered can compare to his strength, be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come up to Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understood? Join me downstairs, Skruko. Look the details of this new mission. You're a pickle, how are you doing? Right, uh... Go in here. Okay, I'm hitting all the doorways. Ah, good. You're already here. Press Lamberton, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Skruko, I understand you've been requested to find the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state. Uh, but as you're aware by now, Cleavor is mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. 
the security guard tried to throw Pokeballs at Cleavar, but they were just attacked. But I'm afraid they didn't come close to catching him. Uh, it seems that he's a far trickier opponent and even the most aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear at this point. Mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle this? Yes. You are right, Hyphen, how are you doing? Very well. Let's go for, over the particulars. Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve the almighty Sinnoh. Uh, they leave offerings to express their gratitude. These Pokemon in locations they call to be noble seats. So perhaps it's a good starting point for our research. We could find out what sort of offerings they normally leave this cleaver. Uh, Suko, we need to speak with you. So much talking. <laughs> Listen, the rift, the rift in space-time seems to like it connects the world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh that is. Uh, the one that rules over time. So you fell through a, spa a space time rift, that means you travelled through time? By the almighty Sinnoh's own power? Think of it, there must just be... You must have just been swimming in divine might. I've got a favour to ask you, oh amazing time traveller. Don't just study Cleavor, quell its frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamin. Uh, we're just discussing the next steps in regards to the whole Cleavor situation. Oh no, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard so much about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Search some that knowledge of me sometime. But now let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You heard this title, Lord of the Woods? I'm sure they'd rather, they'd rather get this under control too. It's hard for them to come right out and ask uh, those as Galaxy Team of all people for help. Truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have had a similar problem in our hands. A Pokemon deed to us off in the mountains has flown in some kind of frenzy as Cleavor. Now it's certainly bad blood between us and Pearl Clan, but still. We've got a share history and that means we've got to tackle our problems together. We aren't, there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. But the best hope we've got. We'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. This is the very heart of the Heartwood. He's a warden of the... His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon's a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance is blinding, you know? I'll tell you what, uh, all about his beloved Cleavor, uh, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you up to the challenge, so I'll be counting on you. See you later. You're right, Bloxy. What's that, eh? It's the next Pokemon game. Certainly left quickly. Once he'd finished talking, I suppose he really values his time. Adam and I went wrong, you know. We're gonna have to study and perhaps even quell the cleaver. Let's start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp will be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. You should stop by the pasture too. You'll want to choose your best Pokemon to bring. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna ignore that for a while. Try to level up some more and catch some things. Finding yourself unable to pick up materials you come across. Satchels always seem full. If it sounds to you like uh, I'd be wise to lend your ear a moment to hear what I have to say. You carry even more in your satchel of yours. There's a little trick by packing things in, I'll teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Sure. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a neat 100. Is that alright? I have to hit you a moment. Uh... Oh, is this guy just like an inventory kind of guy? Okay, let's just get some inventory slots then, I guess. That'll be enough now. I haven't actually hit max items, so... I don't actually know what I need the money for yet. So I'm gonna run out, I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs eventually. Okay, uh, 
Uh, let's go out here. All things, my good friend. I certainly hope you're putting the secret back strike technique at taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the survey course out and study Pokemon is great for business, you know? Sporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Uh, 100 HP. Now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Any outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. So how do I select which camp? So I click on here, right? Oh, okay, it literally says right there, the highest camp. Okay. So, um, uh, I want to see my Pokemon. See, I want a lot of Bidoofs, but I don't really need those Bidoofs, right? Because, like, I'd rather have the Star, well, the Wormpole at least. Because then the Wormpole can evolve, and that's probably good for something, right? Should I release these Bidoofs? Do I get anything for them? Like, do I, is there a reason why I'd need to have more, more than one Bidoof? Just release them then, I guess I'm not going to use them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right, uh... See, now there's no music. It, this game's too quiet, this doesn't have any music. Right, let's, uh... Let's see what else we can find around here. Pep up plant. Can I use uh all ten? Oh, wait, oh my god, seriously? Oh, there's a geodude inside that. Okay. <laughs> Promised. Oh, how can we just run? I feel like I can't fight these Geodudes. And then everything else just like runs away from me. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Um, why not? Just put some Oh, that's cool. So can I use Shinx potentially to fight the Starlies? Uh, that is a big parasect. Wait, is this an alpha parasect? Or are parasects just like actually that big? That's an alpha parasect. Hang on a minute. Whoa. No, no, no. Where's my, where's my syndical? Where's the syndical? Still 30. Wait a minute. Um... That was a little. Uh, no, no. Why don't I have the option to. Okay, whatever. I'm running. I didn't even get the option to attack. No. I didn't realize that was all 30. <laughs> okay, uh, let's leave. Just 
just so I go back and heal, we can potentially get these uh, Parises. What was that? I heard a sound and I'm worried because I don't know what the shiny sound effect is. I guess it wasn't a shiny here? I don't know. Cherryberries. What's that? Oh, is that a plant? Okay, that's what I need for revives. Okay, right, so... How do I get back? Like, can I just fast travel back to camp? This is probably a good, uh... I can, okay. That's good to know, if you can just fast travel back to camp. Okay, now let's... So I won't be able to fight the Parasect, but I can fight the... I can fight the normal Parases. It should be easy XP. I still don't know if I can die fall damage in this game. This is the fall time speak to fire, that should be some easy XP, right? right still oh don't do that that's annoying right, uh, okay I'm still not used to the party thing I should probably catch one of these as well. Ball of mud. I think what I really need more than anything right now is levels. That's crazy. Uh, I should probably not go do that. It's my paralysis. Wait, Cyndaquil's learned all out now? Why? The moves in this game are weird. One Pokemon evolved. How do I do that? Oh. Speak. Okay, my one Pokemon evolve. How do I evolve it? Turn you then. Evolve. Okay. 
A. Still Hoon. Got a new idea for a move. Uh, change moves. I don't want new ideas he got for moves. He still has all the same moves. Catch Silkoon during daytime hours. Right, uh. Why is ev everything seems to hit incredibly hard in this game? Except my own mons. Like, seriously? Bunch of levels there. Camping, slapper, island, and stuff else. Uh... Shinks are useful against some of these birds. I said this before I get annihilated. Yeah, it's all 14. <laughs> and it just immediately goes first. Okay. There we go. Move mastered. When Silk can evolve now. Some uh, some stuff. Yeah, I probably have done nine. I've got nine unreported there. What a beautiful butterfly. It is pretty cool. I think that's got a Geo dude in it. Right. Um. Let's fast travel back. You're actually we're going to see some cool stuff. I gotta look, Bloxy. No worries, dude. Right. Yeah. Let's we continue going this way then I guess. And Shinx mastered its move, so I mean I can now do strong thunder shocks. So that'll probably help me a lot. If I can one shot, start. Actually, I might just attempt to chuck a block. Oh, and I've already got a Starly. And they immediately run away. Ugh. That's that's never gonna stop getting annoying. Still here, throw lurking means. That's fair enough. I really do with like a water type, so I feel that'll help me against the Geo dudes. Oop, these Parises are back. I should definitely use these Parises. And Cyndaquil's gonna evolve soon as well. Perfect run Cliff. Well, as in like, do the boss about dying. Don't poison powder me. Oh. Can my mons just magically cure the statuses? Like that alpha did.
Oh, it's the mode you only have one life. Okay, good luck with that one, dude. So, bingo. Wait, what's this have to do with bingo? He still has mastered Ember. Blue Parage. <laughs> He's Poison Powder. Okay, at least the Parage is stupid. Double Para. Wait, now I'm poisoned? Wait, what? Okay, status is work funny in this game. He kind of helped me by poisoning me there. Ooh, I've mastered a move. Hopefully that's Ember. Let's go bully this cricket up to find out. Got wood. I don't know what wood does. Can. I can now strong style Ember, which is what I need to do for Mastery Tasks. Oh, we've got two evolutions now, guys. That's another Alpha Crocodile. Okay. Why do I feel like Alpha's absolutely everywhere in this game? Hang on. Uh, right, you can apparently evolve. Evolve into Staravia. And then Shinx can evolve too, which I'm going to press X. There we go. I feel like I've just done a whole bunch of stuff now. Let's see if I can beat this Alpha Krippiton. It doesn't run from me. Oh wait, it's all 30. Okay, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Keep on doing that. I need, I need, I need to remember that Krippiton's all... The Alpha's all 30. So I should just avoid all Alphas until... Um, I'm all 30. I kind of want that Zubat. No, oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it still hasn't detected me though, which is good. No, that was to fight me. Okay. Bidoof, go! Hopefully Bidoof knows, like, tackle or something. If not, it's this. Yeah, tackle, go! Good 
Thrones. Yeah. Well, you know, we kind of expect that, I guess, like... That's weird. There isn't, a, there isn't a button on screen telling you what button to press to throw a Pokemon. What goes do that? We'll be back. Oh yeah, we'll be back. You know, obviously they're not just gonna leave it down. Um. Now I want to go back to base to turn in this research stuff, see if I get anything. Then, I don't think my team's sort of starting to get there a little bit now. Like I'm at least on par with a lot of the wild ones. Uh, can I turn in... See, you've caught one Pokemon. Can I try to find it? I've evolved multiple. That's not a lot of money. Um, uh, oh, I see she made some observations. Have a look then. Let me see. Must illuminate. Nine. Okay, it's not quite far away from um, next rank. These ranks are apparently going to be a bit more spaced out, I think. Okay. You know, a hard boss with a perfect run. Any size it is. A boss called 10 Hour Burst Man. Does it actually take 10 hours? If it takes 10 hours, there's a good chance I'll probably never, ever, ever come close to doing it. Or Zubat on my party. I was gonna say I wanted to add Zubat. <gasps> Drift Blooms! Fight! Um, Echo! How do I change targets? Oh, see, I want to lock onto the weaker one. There we go. No. It's a boss where you fight someone, it drags you into shadow, shadows off spawn. Oh, that one. Okay, that doesn't. Yeah, that boss doesn't seem all that fun. Um. You're a total. You play Let's Go Pikachu. Oh, nice one. Yeah, I still, need to play, I still need to play those at some point. I love how the starter is. Yeah, I've heard they've done some cool stuff with starters in that game. Like, it's not, it's not a normal Pikachu, is it? And I've heard they've done some cool stuff with the Eevee too. Uh, who has bite? You have bite, don't you? <laughs> Flying time moves 90 damage. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. This guy has bite. Nice. I wish I could like jump and glide or something. I feel like that would probably help me quite a lot. So where's my health bar? Just FYI. 
<laughs> That's probably good to know. Do I just heal over time? I take that heal over time. Right, let's uh let's check the Pokedex. Apparently I have six unreported tasks already. Okay, so we've seen Ember enough times. In fact, I should probably focus on the ones that don't have um, 10 research, right? Uh. Hmm. Wait, did I not catch it? Oh no, number card, it's just, just rank zero. Okay. So I haven't turned anything in. I played Legends Artist before. Uh, no, I started. I first played it the first time yesterday. Oh, you do heal over time. Okay, that's, that's good to know, maybe. So I can throw myself off cliffs as long as I don't do it too much. Is is what I gathered from that. So much fun to watch. Uh, I'm glad to. I hope you enjoy it all. Should go through pain. Nah, I, I reckon I've got this. Actually, I'm gonna switch to Star Avia. Just because. If we're gonna bully Paris's. Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure what the best way to do research is. Um, so if I look at Staravia... Also, Starly's disappeared. Oh no. This order chronologically? No. Um, order alphabetically? Order numerically? Okay, it's order numerically. That makes sense in my head. <laughs> okay, um... Wait, no, hang on, no. Okay, that makes sense in my head, okay. <laughs> I know, I'd like my Starly and my Staravia be next to each other, that just makes sense, right? Uh, so yeah, so need to use to make it use Aerial Ace. Given food. Um, the game probably told me how to do that and I didn't listen. And there's gender differences, okay. Um, yeah, let's just use this a bunch and a bully bug types of Aerialess. What was that? Okay. Oh, not you. Okay, this is a this is this is a battle. Um, I might run. I don't think I'll take three on one. I mean, I might be able to, but I've done it before. That's a Zubat. I, I, can I get these Zubats off me, please? <laughs> right, um... Oh, did I, I think I forgot to heal while I was in camp. Oh, he's poisoning me. Okay. Right, um... Thundershock. Can I just like chuck out another mon? Can I chuck out Cyndaquil? Oh, okay, I have to switch. Okay, they can do a two on one on me, but I can't do a two on one on them. Okay, I get it. Cyndaquil ready to evolve yet? No? That stupid Gen 2 thing where they evolve differently. Where'd they go? Oh, why the. Okay. Fighting those things is gonna be annoying. Okay, anything in the water? I'd like a water type. Oh, 
cobblestone. First try. What is that? Clayman or what? what ten hour something or other? It's you, dude. See, I was kind of hoping that the different coloured uh, rocks would give me a different one. Oh wait, I need to see Geodude's leap out of deposits? Okay, I should keep an eye out for that. What I really need is a water type. And not a barrel. I don't want a barrel. <laughs> I've already got a Bidoof. That is an alpha barrel. <laughs> wait, you perfect run Clayman? Oh wait, no. Clayman's the easier one, isn't it? Okay. Iron Chunk. Let's well, not aggro that monster of nature. No, it's not person. I was gonna say. <laughs> but I see a shaking bush up there. Like all these mons, I should just catch, shouldn't I? I should just catch a whole bunch of mons. That's the whole point of the game. Banana berries. Okay, you're running away from me, so I should probably start sneaking. If I was good at the game, I would sneak. No, okay, they're gone. But I did see. Ooh, ooh, a, du a duck. There's a Geodude in that rock as well. We can get a Shadow Axe. Yeah, I think that's the thing with Item Asylum, is it can be a little bit luck dependent. Like, um... Can I Agile Dust? To reduce my damage. Actually, I wasn't thinking about this, so Cider could be a good watch. I... It still feels like my entire team just dies in uh, two, uh, in two uh, hits. Uh, Badoof, go! You can take hits, right? <laughs> You're gonna have to. Prop up wall. There we go. Nice. And we can aggro this geo dude. Do you have absorb? But three would normally have absorb. Oh, sorry, beautifly would normally have absorb by now. It doesn't. So I'm now going to run because my butterfly is about to get nuked by a geodude. <laughs> Using furnace. Won't do matter or take of it. We got destroyed by matter last time, didn't we? Like when we did that stream last week. Uh, I'm so going to nuke this beautiful eye. Roll out, go! I probably should have used like strength roll out or something. Look at that. Look how much damage tackle does, it's insane. Badoof's master the move and he can evolve. Have some of the evolutions changed in this game? The evolution levels. I could have sworn Badoof doesn't evolve 15, right? Yo, it's Neck. How you doing? Should I think that anything that evolves before 16 is early?
You guys are about tower defense games again. When he moves, cool. Um, change moves. Almost freed from class. Who has water pulse? Tower defense heroes. If I was to do a tower defense game, guys, it would be Bloom's tower defense. But I've said why before, why I don't think um, tower defense games are good for streams. <gasps> Male combi, yay! <laughs> Woo, male combi! Struggle bug! Oh wait, I took damage there, hang on. He's in struggle bug, this is gonna struggle its whole life. I think a lot of people watch balloons. And I just think it would be really, really boring to anyone who isn't isn't playing along. I mean, Tower Heroes is a good game, just can't play it. I don't know, I just wouldn't want to get into a new, um, new tower defense game, honestly. Wait, is that a... Uh, that's a Cooney boy. Still Cooney, there we go. Uh, change focus. Look uh, how angry he is, that's your thing. Ah, caught it. People would like it. Oh, maybe I'll think about it. It might, it might be nice to do like a one or two off of it or something like that. But obviously it wouldn't be something I'd want to do like every day. So many butterflies. Let me check Luxio. Does Luxio have any moves it needs to use? It needs to use Thunderfang. Okay, let's, uh... Let's Thunderfang some butterflies. Need to watch Disintegrate a bad. Who said I was any good? <laughs> I played like a mun. Uh, I played it today, actually. Yeah, I was playing that, that garden map, you know, with the glass sheet that changes every round. I was doing that on normal difficulty. Because I hate that map and I've got an embarrassingly few amount of medals. Right, let's evolve, Syndical. You hate that map. So do I. I. I'd literally only had the normal difficult, the easy difficulty medal. So I was like, I need to probably do more medals here. Awesome. We now have a Monferno. Right. Uh... We're actually getting some good levels out here. Um... Oh, does it? Oh, you just find berries in the ground. Eleven black borders. Finding black border in every map. That's when you're dreading. Yeah, I think I've got a few where I'm quite close to Black Border, but I just find um, 
half cash, so unfun. <laughs> it's like crazy unfun. That's a side up. So I tend to, it's like I actually blackboard a very few maps because it's just like, I just don't enjoy half cash. Uh... Right, let's have a little look see at my party because I probably don't actually need the barrel on me anymore. Um... I suppose I could still use it for research, right? Um... Let's take me fly off. And take the barrel off. And put a um, drift balloon and side duck on. You can hear me now, a nice one, snack. Okay, pop all chimps and half cash to do on another brick. Oh, is that the that's the one with the brick wall in the middle, isn't it? I actually quite like that map. You, know, you, you don't know what you use to complete this game, be an inferno. Yeah, my mind was kind of blown with that map when I realised you can place towers behind the wall and if they can shoot through walls, they can hit the balloons. So you can just spam wizards behind the wall. Like on the left. I've started doing the like the actual tutorial quests for the heroes as well because they're like surprisingly um, difficult. <laughs> like genuinely trying to do like um, the hero tutorials, just it's weirdly hard. Like Quill Arbor, another card. Oh, we need to use Ember again. Okay. Remember what? If it was an alpha starter, you wanted it. I'm about to go beat up some Parises with my starter. It's not an alpha, but these Parises are going to think it's an alpha by the time I'm done with them. Oh, that. Give me the XP. Uh, I keep on rolling because the roll button is what I think. Um, I need to use okay. I need to use Ember and Strong Style and Agile. So every single move I should use should just be a style. Oh my God! Yeah, like, like every single move I use should be a style if it can. To style, style Ember. Poison powder is fine, so one shot you anyway. Move bastard. And actually, in all honesty, um. In all honesty, I probably shouldn't be doing Quilava's mastery or research because I can't actually catch another starter, like at least not yet. So if I'm going to increase the shiny odds of something, I might as well increase the shiny odds of something I can actually get, right? The game is easy, it's all powered pork, what do you can get? Yeah, but I, I want to get everything. Like, we're going to get that thing at some point. I'm gonna 
absolutely everything. <laughs> Have they announced the release date for Pokemon ZA yet? Because that's my deadline. What's that over there? Oh, it's probably another Silcoon. We're gonna Mega Evolve again. I'm defeated. I'm defeated with Flying type moves. Time to see the Poison Sting. Um. So if I just like. Get Stravia and kill you. With like a strong gust. Be cool to get a regional variant of Dodra. That would be pretty cool. Uh, what type would you want it to be? Regional for Poseidon. Huh? Yeah, number defeated with flying type moves, numbers defeated. Yes, and now I can go up to here and use my Luxio. Okay, I'm getting to the I'm getting into rhythm of this now, guys. I've got multiple mons I've got on the go at the same time. Okay, I'm getting good XP. Making progress. I'm gonna at least go up to this cleave on and see what it's all about, right? Even though I don't necessarily know if I'm strong enough to even fight it yet. We could at least see what it's all about. This is the kid. I'm Leon, a Pearl Clan, the Warden of Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already juiced you have come here to meet Cleavor. I'm right, aren't you? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps the strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it takes, it struck my lord and left him imbued with some awesome might. So, I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. Uh, okay, I didn't realise I dialogue. Oh, such an earnest desire to meet Cleavor. I admit, I'm, I'm struck by your passion. Well, I was afraid your passion uh, is not the real issue here. I'm told um, by uncertain terms by Erdia that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now. I hope or you still can. Or face the wrath of my Goomy. Uh, yep, that's right, a Goomy. You didn't realise I'm turning you away from your own safety? How sad you are. Go, Goomy, and see if you can ooze some good sense of this foolish troublemaker. Oh, God, looks you. 15. Okay, we're actually pretty well suited for this one. Um, to strong style fight. I'm one shot. It's Goomy. Yay. <laughs> okay. Well, that was simple enough, right? <laughs> How can this be? I may have been defeated. My point still stands. It's too dangerous, dangerous to meet Cleavor now. You're only welcome if you approach him with a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I simply make him an offering. 
a nice heaping, a nice heaped helping or two a tear of food served up by his respect, with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. Uh, usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest, prickly, prickliest moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor, Wadier, and their cohort drew an almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. It's so sad. Uh, it's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, st still lives in the vast issue today. Ryder, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid his strength forces a problem to us. Uh, if he was indeed struck by the lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. We'd hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves. Uh, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. We must see, save Cleavor from his frenzy. Every moment it continues, our danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict of both Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix it all? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Lee and I will gather some food that pleased Cleavor in hopes that you might be able to get closer enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, Find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you search every corner of vast Tissui. Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power that enables you to return to base camp in an instant. I mean the fast travel, I've already been doing that. <laughs> Up bit late there, game. Head to base camp and probably we've learned to the professor. Uh, we could run back. I wonder if there's anything different in the woods at night. Like that might be cool, right? Also, I've got a side dock now. So we can actually go bully some Geo dudes if I can see them. There's a scissor over there. A cipher, rather. Don't run from me. Okay, now it's angry. Now it's angry. Side up, go. Uh, fight. Um, agile bubble. Be a speedy side up. Nothing else I can really do. Anything else is stronger. So I wanna chuck a pop ball. Caught a night thing as well. Yeah, there we go. See, I know what's going on in this game. Okay. Um. It's a worm pull. It's 
Because the music, this game does have ambience sometimes. It must have just been that, um, that one bridge I happened to be stood on that just didn't have um, any ambience in it. There was a Geodude there. I was just about to fast travel back and I spotted a Geodude. I imagine there's probably um, a knockout Geodudes with um, bottom moves, probably, right? If not, this will help side up too. Hey, he's mastered the move, nice. Let's fast travel back. Button. I have so many objectives to report as well. Good to see you, Sukduko. How's your research to Klebo going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite a tidbit. So serving his favourite foods will normally make Cleavor quite agreeable, is that it? Uh, I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. I'm going to get XP. I said to work out a, like, a reliable way to get money. Oh, 10 points? 10 points away from the next rank. I guarantee you anything. What will happen is they're going to tell me I can't progress until I get to the next rank. So according to the information, we were able to, le to learn from Idra and Leon of the Pearl Clan. But while it's a normal course of events, the frenzied Cleavor will be calmed down by a nice serving of his two favourite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other component of these foods might be combined in a way that not only calm, calm Cleavor, but draw him back from his frenzy. Uh, by your own report, even Cleavor's warden, lo who looks after Cleavor, doesn't know him, well, cannot approach him in his current state. We fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment, if you would. I need some time pondering on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. This guy is pondering. Eureka! You simply have to throw the food. Okay, so the game is actually teaching me how to throw food. You've got quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Suluko? I suggest you take Cleavor's favourite food and throw it at the Pokemon. Makes sense. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved food into balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea for you to so myself. As for, uh, I call these Yumi projectiles. How about tea time balls? Puts one in the mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? When you simply call them Laventon balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched into frenzied friend. Any case, you can rely on a pearl clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should go back to the Grand Tree Arena, let the pearl clan know our plan. But off to the Grey Tree Arena. Best at our, our from the high kite camps, eh? It's Oshibot. Hang on. But there's a Rowler. I'm guessing Cyndaquil will probably be sat inside there if I hadn't picked Cyndaquil.
I mean, I feel like Oshawott's tank kind of sucks, right? <laughs> I feel like Rowlet's definitely got a better deal. All right, uh, let's go out here. Yeah, I'm not worried about the inventory guy because I still haven't reached max inventory yet, so. Uh, let's go. Oh wait, no, I don't need the crafting bench, do I? How do I craft? Uh, oh no, is that it? Craft. I only have ten apricots. Actually, can I? Just fast travel. I can. Hang on a minute. Oh, but I can't fast travel. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. It'd be nice if I could just, like, fast travel there. So I had to run all the way over here. Oh, that's what she needs to talk to me. My, my. The Galaxy Hall is a fine building, even from outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, so give them that. Oh, yes. I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Actually, what's going on, though? Let's head to... What you end up calling it? The height camp? Weirdia. I spoke to Weirdia about what's going on. I told him you've been tracking all over the field lands, seeking a way to quell Cleavor's fury. Uh, all this for someone who's not even part of our clan or the clan pearl. Just some wanderer fell through a rift in this world. And hearing that, well, you can now see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weirdia's found you worthy, you see. Which means you need a flute, uh, like we have. I demonstrate for him, my. This is very important. So listen well. Weird here. That's the cellar. Dika flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call a weirdy and you can ride upon him. I see the Celesti Celestia flute or gift store on the almighty Sinnoh itself. And now, this one's yours. A flute can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. It's Timbra is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play the melody. <laughs> Almost I opened his heart and learned well the song you're playing. Slaughtered round a hundred and impoppable with Archmage and Inferno Ring. But somehow your best tower was Sora. Wait, with a mind plate? Stone tablet imbued the essence of psychic energy. Use a certain Pokemon as a Pokemon in the power of a psychic type. Use the uh, Slushed Flute wisely and gallop across the land in a great weird year. It's got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? We do even gallop across the field lands in no time. Inferno Ring's underrated. Yeah, I think it's because it's very, very expensive compared to the tax zone. So it's like, I could 
have a tax on or pay twice as much as an inferno ring. It's a plus to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Tax on got nerfed. Yeah, but it's still cheap. And that's why it appeals. Like, I feel like you couldn't really use Inferno Ring in a in a chimps game because you just wouldn't have the money for it. I mean, I suppose you could get it probably. But yeah, I do agree Inferno Ring is very good. Especially when you combine it with like the primary villages. Because if you give it all the Pierce boosts and primary villages and stuff. Or from um like Troldor's sharpness thing or whatever. Styles 98, yeah. It, it is very, very good. And I suppose one disadvantage it does have technically is that uh, it can't hit purples and it can't hit camos. You have to sort of double buff it, but then the taxon can't hit leads. I could put to sleep by Zubat, it probably shouldn't even be in the fight. Wake up, Sidon. Right, okay, I think I don't know what Drowsy does. My guy's kind of completely annoyed it. Oh yeah, you need a village as well, don't you? So yeah. Yeah, you are right there. So yeah, the camo probably isn't such a big problem since you're gonna have a village anyway. But... I don't understand what Drowsy does, and the game isn't gonna tell me. Too Drowsy to move. Is hypnosis again? There we go. Look at him. I've just got 10 black tumblestone. How do I get acorns? Or tons of tumblestone, but not acorns. I do like this weird deer though, this is a very cool one. Honestly, I think it took Pokemon way too many years to get a mon like this. Hit trees. Like any tree, or just the trees with the... with the things. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay. So obviously the trees that you can clearly see stuff in, I've been hitting them as a seal. But I get um, berries. So this one here. Can I just crash into them? No, that would be too convenient. No, don't do that. Now you're going to fight the boom. Okay. There we go, I've got apricorns there. You see, like, this tree doesn't have anything in it. Uh, how can I get off this tree? Well, this tree doesn't have anything in it. So do I get anything for this? My well, side duck isn't even playing ball with that one. It has 376 players. Not gonna be orange berries. Okay, so it seems that like even trees that don't look like they have stuff sometimes have stuff. Right, let's get all the way over here. I'm gonna miss so many shinies doing this. Zombie attack game that was like seven years old, 2.5. Yeah. Barrels. I 
Yeah, I don't know what I want to do about this cleaver, by the way. It's like rock flying or something. A rock bug. Some attack is a good game. Shy sound plays. I know, but you know how much attention I pay to stuff. So, you know, there's a good chance I'll probably just completely miss it. Oh, I want to get that tree. I suppose once you know which trees have acorns in it, you can quickly do like a little cycle and get them all quite quickly, right? That wasn't the sound, shiny sound, was it? That was in the sound effects. It's a whole thing wasn't a shiny sound. I don't see any blue dots. Let's go over here. Said the galaxy people came up with a method to quell Lord Cleaver's fury. What? Mash up Cleaver's favorite food into balls and throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance? I'll lend you my aid, that means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Liam. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whoever's plan is, you need Lord Cleavor's favourite plum beans. I've brought them. Uh, as promised. That's right. My apologies, Arda. I have forgotten all about you. I admit that we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, so you have little choice but to trust to turn to the galaxy team. But I still have my doubts as to whether we should entrust such things to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. To prove your worthiness to stand in the presence of our, no our noble Pokemon, you may battle by ordering, uh, ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have Pokemon as close to me as a sister, uh, as one of my blood. You're grinding geometry dash. Ah, good luck, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, John Mitri Dash is, uh, <laughs> seems pretty, a very hard game. I see if you can delete Glaceon and me. I trust you with Cleavor's fate. Will you battle us? Um, sure. They allow Glaceon's true strength chill you to your depths. I mean, a Glaceon's a pretty, uh, pretty big Pokemon for this stage of the game, I think. I should try it. 17. Swift. I'm just dead already. Um, if I use bubble, I can strike twice. Oh, I can use confusion. Appear Tyrex. Yeah, we're, we're still doing this. Oh god, I did nothing. That's fine. We can we run Quill Arthur out. Pull off or we'll just nuke this thing. I know I can see myself getting very frustrated at um John Dash, honestly. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, so far, like, every single um, battle has been one man. I see now, Pokeballs are simply tools of choice, not products to disregard of Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let's see to your Pokemon's wounds. Now, explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? 
So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleefall's favourite foods together and ball them up and quell his fury by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you developed soothing balms of sort to calm our lord. Very well. Uh, if it'll help soothe Cleefall's frenzy, let's make these balms for our very hearts and souls. There, a vegetable mountain of farms. This should please Cleavor, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Uh, I'm ready. A short side duck was, will be just fine. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Uh, though it isn't yet time of ceremony. We've prepared an offering of your favourite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude. We beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Stuko, keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital to avoid his moves uh, as you're throwing the bombs. Russia. Dude just dropped on a tree. Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. Then victory gets noble Pokemon and call its frenzy. You throw bombs until its frenzy get frenzy gauge which is zero. If you manage to cre create an opening, noble defenses should send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Uh, when a Pokemon battle, Noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. Shinnit window bombs are more effective than usual. Throw as many as you can. So you want me to start... Like Dark Souls. <laughs> It's like Dark Souls if you're a try-hard magic build. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I wasn't watching. Can I get locked on, please? Okay, there we go. Level 18, it's level 17 a minute. Can any Pokemon do battle? Uh, do I have to? This seems to be working pretty well. I got some Psyduck in. Go Psyduck. Okay, that's, that's a new move. Um. Why does this sound like a really bad idea? Stealth Rock did damage? Why, is it, why did it tell me to do that? Okay, um... I mean, I don't even have much else that can really hold up against this. Um... Okay, cool, have a go! I said that as if I know what type is. I assume it's Rock type? I 
I don't think that was worth it. <laughs> like, am I missing something here? I feel like I could have just. If I was just doing it normally, it would have got more bombs. Okay. A poor Psyduck <laughs> missed out a thousand XP because uh, he died in a battle I probably didn't even need to do. <laughs> Get the insect plate. Just getting all the plates. What, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that Strange Lightning was to blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Uh, maybe. Well, this is what I think after what we've seen. Strange lightning came out of a space-time rift the other night. These bolts have struck Cleavor and driven him to a frenzy after all. Lightning came from a space-time rift. If Mighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lightning was indeed the almighty Sinnoh's power. Then, were we even right to try to interfere? I'm happy went along with his plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool, outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember, the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would the power sent by a true almighty Sinnoh have, have driven Cleavor to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Skaduko accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we settled down on any further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. Uh, if you come across another Pokemon in the, in the grip of a powerful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I might. I must conquer. I apologi apologise for becoming briefly incompromised. Uh, I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. I'm not an apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, as talking of my thanks. Three citrus berries. Wow. I just defeated your god and she gave me three berries. It starts to with HP to half of its max. You also throw this berry in your Pokemon to other attention. Let's take care of your Pokemon as well. I appreciate you fighting our behalf. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. But I cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems that we've settled things here. Though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleavor in such a frenzy again. He's fearfully strong after all. Report to the commander that we completed the mission. Made level too hard. Are you doing custom missions? Custom levels. So do I now have to... Can I, I can't fast travel directly to the village, can I? Oh, I can. Okay, I can fast travel directly to the village. So I, can I just like not fast travel? Wait. Can't fast travel to... yeah. It's kind of annoying that I can't fast travel to like different zones. That feels very weird to me. Oh, 
What was that sound? Uh, yes. Cool. I don't know what I did. Oh, wait. Look at this. Star level 2. Splendid, ferocious results. I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best to to Captain Silene, eh? Right, right, right on that about you. You quell Dodd Cleavoy, sir? Well, oh, well done. And bravo, my boy. Time to head back to the village of Fort Commander uh, thingy. Again. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Are those two of the fabled plates of old? Please let me have a look. See, there's some levels, letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, uh, where all creation was born. That is the being of a place's origin. Seems a phrase of very old myth. How did you come across these? I see. So you've given to the plates when you impressed Weirdia and Cleavor. Uh, that is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It's my guess that you find some plates like these scattered across the Sui. If we were to gather all of them and decipher the scripts in them, we might uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. <laughs> like, wow, isn't this exciting? See you later. <laughs> I think you can actually read the entire myth on the plates in the other games. If you read the descriptions. Because I swear I've heard the idea of stuff being written on the plates in X and Y. Right, so I need to speak to you to get my rank 2. Our investigation of the commander will grind to a halt if you become a castrated recruit. You should avoid that outcome. I imagine you'd, well, you would as well, since you mean losing the food or shelter we provide for you. Do you promise what? Should your worthiness show me your Pokédex? Yeah. Ah, oh, you made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. this, you officially attained the second star of the Galaxy Exhibition Team. You can use Feather Balls. Pokemon Double First, you will obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn from server reports are more generous now too. Have these as well. A further recipe you'll need for crafting. Feather Balls. Apricorn and Sky Tumblestone. Overturned Super Potions. There's a potion and a pep-up plant. I hope I have a few pep-up plants. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokédex. Hope to have you rise higher in the ranks. So we're actually getting there with this. Let's go speak to the actual commander dude. <laughs> Tickle my curiosity. Right. Uh, let's get up here. Hmm. Well done. You've already received a report of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, destroying the peace of mind of Sue's people. You are strange to us, one who fell from the very sky. You have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit that you've earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I had received word that another Pokemon uh, noble uh, falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in the Sui. To carry on your research and survey duties, and prove that you're truly an asset to us. That is all. You're dismissed. All the survey core members are likely at the Wallflower. Go we'll join them. Any old chump. The usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, is there anything else you'd recommend? By all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping with Storm about your young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing against that Cleavor. 
I dare say Screw Core was well prepared. If you study hard at how Cleavor moved in battle, from what I heard. After all, there's a very good shot, a victory well earned. I feel safer going out to survey calls duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of there, of these? I made recipe uh, on the directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. Uh, one castor fern leaf and one soot fruit root. Lovely. I need not worry about being mauled by cleavers. Let's take a chance to study all the Pokemon that call Obsidian Fieldland their home. Skaduka. I've been waiting for you, Skaduka. My name's Vesa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Why does her footsteps echo? Um, it's kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. This Huey's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought Calamity's region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Skuko, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Um, just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I knew you'd be willing to help. The odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Why do I suddenly get the feeling she's a ghost? A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps they glow in the eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the sewer. 107 in total. Uh, with the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally visible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, uh, just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See the flame hovering over there? Try touching it. See the flame over there? Try touching it. I, I feel like she's a ghost. Right. Um, also, I haven't been over to this bit of the village before. Yeah, that's just suddenly behind me. The wisp was absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. My goodness, I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. We're here for a while to carry our search. Good luck. So is she just a person? Next day. Wow, a Galaxy Team hairdresser really, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh hey, you're Stuko, the boy who quelled Cleavor, aren't you? Uh, that's me. I knew it. You have quite the reputation, you know? I mean, you quelled one of the almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. Why... Arzu? Who's Arzu? Oh, I, oh I'm Arzu. I thought she said by Arzu. I'm like, what? I'm Warden of Diamond City Clan. My special... My special skills give me haircuts. 
Wait, so one warden goes around battling weird ears and stuff, and the other one's a hairdresser. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip. I came here to talk to Mr. Komodo. See you around. I'll see his predicament. Okay. Uh, don't forget to stream the Lumi Legacy UMV update this Friday. Uh, what time does it come out, Funky Man? Because we've had stuff in the past where this, the update doesn't actually come out until 10 p.m., which is obviously too late for me to do a stream. So we might do it depending what time it uh, comes out on Saturday or Friday. We might release it on Saturday. Yeah, we'll definitely do it, though. We're definitely going to do it. Right, let me just save the game. I can find the save game button. Save progress. There we go. What even is this? Oh, they released the time. Okay. What's the time, Funky Man? Can I ride my weird eat on here? I can't. There's loads of side quests. The problem is I don't know how many of these side quests to gift mons. Bad news. Oh, 10 p.m. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do it on Saturday instead, Funky Man, then. So I, I don't want to just stall and waste time for two hours to then like do like an hour. I don't know. It really. It also depends because if it with it being a UMV update, if I only have one UMV like a day, then <laughs> we'll have like one attempt and that's it. <laughs> Oh no, 10 p.m. UK time, they haven't said the time zone. Ah. Yeah, so it could actually potentially be later than that then. I'm just save the game again because I'm paranoid. No, oh, there's all the wrong buttons. Save. 3 a.m. <laughs> Potentially, yeah. Right, anyway, I'm gonna finish off the stream here then. This is fun. We're making progress this game and I'm liking it. So yeah, we'll probably be back next time with this. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've had fun and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.